I'm sure we can all agree that science is awesome, but what happens when it goes too far? And who's to say when too far is too far? In today's episode of Unusual As Usual, we're learning about the Vacanti mouse. The Vacanti mouse was a laboratory mouse born in 1996 that had a human ear growing out of its back. The mouse used was called a nude mouse, a commonly used strain of immunocompromised mice, meaning that it didn't have an immune system that would prevent a transplant rejection. But not everything was as it seemed. The ear wasn't actually an ear at all. It was actually a biodegradable ear-shaped mold which was injected with cow cartilage cells and put in an incubator. After it had been incubated, the now living structure was removed and implanted in the mouse. Then the cartilage naturally grew by itself within the restricted shape and size. The ear mouse, as it became known, was created by Harvard surgeons Joseph and Charles Vacanti in the 1990s while experimenting with stem cell techniques to better understand how they could help grow body parts for humans. It's estimated that well over a billion people around the world are in need of new organs, and there are just not enough organ donors to fulfill the demand. One day, Joseph heard his colleague, a plastic surgeon, complaining that it was so difficult to create new ears for patients who were missing them, as ears have such a peculiar and complicated shape. That's when he decided to make a biodegradable scaffolding in the shape of a human ear. They then repeated the process again and again, as you would do with experiments, which means the iconic ear mouse is actually just one of many ear mice. In 1998, the BBC heard a programme with an ear mouse in the trailer. There was no context given and, as I expected, the world was stunned. Many were impressed by the advancement of science. However, some were highly concerned and, as expected, rumors were rife. In the end, the ears were never transplanted to humans. In fact, due to the lack of funding, the experiment never even reached the second stage. Once doctors had perfected this technique in mice, the next stage was to attempt it in larger animals. Eventually, potentially, one day, helping humans grow their very own replacement body parts. So, what happened to the mice? Well, the official statement is, we removed the ears and the mice lived out happily normal lives. They were not harmed by the work, so I think that's the answer that I would like to give you. In the world of medicine, there's a massive controversy about the use of animals. The Vacanti mouse actually paved the way to eliminate the need to use animals because we can now generate human tissue using human cells without the use of animals. In fact, Stelius Arcado, a performance artist who goes by the name Stellark, had a procedure based on the Vacanti mouse in 2006. He had an artificial ear grafted to his forearm in the hopes that sometime in the future being able to have a tiny microphone embedded which will allow anyone in the world to listen through his third ear via the internet. And there we have it, the Vacanti mouse. It became a metaphor for both the good and bad side of science and the controversy about what the future may hold. How about you? Do you think science went too far? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today, but I'll see you all next week, and remember, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more abnormal animals, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video, and if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.